This is Autel Evo 2 Pro and today I will show how you can set this drone up and pretty much prepare it for your first flight. So in the beginning, uh, check if your drone comes with an inserted battery. I guess sometimes it may come with no battery inside of the aircraft itself. So take the battery and install it by aligning those two contact points so the battery is inserted. Now what I want you to do is to also make sure that the SD card is also in. So position your drone like that so the camera looking away from you and on the left bottom side or close to the drone's belly you'll find the micro SD card slot. So uh, remove the protection cap or uh, pull it aside rather. Take your micro SD card, position it like that, and then insert it into its slot. Once it is slotted in, close the protective cap. So now, uh, by the way, the drone and the remote controller come paired from the factory, so you will not need to pair them, uh, which is good, I guess. Now take your phone, the phone that you will use to, well, pilot your drone, in my case it's this Android Nokia smartphone, uh, get the, or install the Hotel Explorer application. Uh, we have a separate video on how to get this app for both Android and iOS devices, as well as how to troubleshoot possible problems that may occur. So if you have any, if you need any assistance with that, check that video out. But well, assuming that you've already gotten the Hotel Explorer app, also take the connection cable. So this one is, I have no idea how this port is properly called, but I don't know, to Type-C, since my Nokia is a Type-C device. Now um, start by unfolding those antennas here and also unfold the phone holder. At the bottom, you can also unfold those legs that allow you to conveniently hold the remote controller. Now position your phone into this retractable slot here, like that. I guess that seems right. Now take the cable and one end of it you'll need to insert into your phone, so the whatever slot you have put it inside your device and another end of the cable at the bottom of the remote controller you have the well, slot so also insert it in and once the phone and uh, controller are connected we can power the controller on let me quickly do that right yep here you go now just press and hold the power button to switch on the remote controller and hopefully the app is going to automatically up here it is here is the prompt allow Autel Explorer to access RC or remote controller so do that confirm allow Autel Explorer to handle the remote controller also confirm and well here before we proceed let's actually finish uh, taking care of the drone so first take out the gimbal or camera protector then unfold the legs so start by unfolding the front legs since otherwise you will not be able to <laughs> unfold the rear ones so start by unfolding the front legs and then unfold the rear ones as well now on the drone's battery press and hold the power button to switch the aircraft on so as you can clearly see the drone is powered on now let's wait. Yep, so the connection has been established successfully. We can now continue setting up the Hotel Explorer app here. So select Evo 2. Um, check if the connection wizard tells you that everything is fine. So remote controller and aircraft are connected, so we can continue. So this is done. Remote controller and aircraft connected, so we can proceed once again. Then uh, grant the app with all essential permissions that it needs to have.
and now we can go into the camera feed and pretty much start flying as you can see the feed the feed is here it works perfectly fine here is my hand you can clearly see it and well i guess that will be it for this video so thanks for watching thanks for your attention and bye bye